Hey guys, welcome back to Ridiculous Radio. I'm your host. Um, well, we're nearing the end of our trip. It's kind of been rainy. We didn't hit our target species so far, but we still got one more day left. So for now, enjoy the footage that we got over the last few days. I'll probably throw in some pictures in there. And hopefully we can hit on our target species. Oh shit. Yeah, that's not good. It's getting all wet. Hopefully we can hit on our target species. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. So we're out here on a field with Josh and Matt on our way to go herping. We just found these. Where'd he go? Oh, they're gone. They're gone. I'll try and attach the pictures, but we just found these two northern red bellies. Oh, there we go. I wasn't on the corner. <laughs> He's not happy. Here, let's see if we can... Can you turn him... Oh, like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, there you go. That might be better. Oh, bite me because he gets close to you. <laughs> nice little eastern milk snake. <laughs> Flipped under some tin. Let me, uh... You gonna bite me, Kim? God, I think I need to go to manual zoom. I don't want What's your white Josh balance? Josh has already moved on. My light balance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's come back. You want to close that tin real quick? So you can kind of put them on the end of it. There you go. Or you can go that way, whatever. Hmm, I'm gonna have to think of a different way to do this. That's a green frog. Oh, is it? I'm about to catch it and see if it smells like onions. <laughs> do it. I'm filming. Do it. That smells like frog. It smells like frog, guys. No onions here. He doesn't want to do it. <laughs> He's like, let me under it. Oh. Oh, wow. 
guess that's as good as it's gonna get. Nice little red back. Is it a young one? Yeah, a little red spotted. Okay, it's not a millipede. This one's just chilling all by itself. That's fucking awesome. In situ salamanders, dude. Just happens. all over the place. Not when I'm trying to light at it. Second snake actually of the trip, not before the trip. It's like 55 degrees out, kind of raining, not the conditions we were hoping for, but we're here. Got ourselves another spot. Added news. All right. All right. We got two Thamnopha species here in my left hand is Thamnophis sertalis sertalis oh, the eastern garter snake and in my right hand is Thamnophis sortus septentrionalis and that is the northern ribbon snake these two are very commonly mistaken for each other and we got them both under one flip the easy way to spot the difference other than the size I mean, clearly you can see that this guy's a lot more long and slender, especially in the tail. But if you look at the front here, you can see these guys have a white preocular spot. So right in front of their eye there, you'll see that white spot. And this guy does not have that. There are other differences too. Um, where their stripes are located, um, lip markings and stuff like that, but that spot's the easiest way to tell. 
Alright. Do you think we can get them both calm for a photo? Uh, it's possible. It's possible. So, Matt, I mean, Josh has a pretty <laughs> unique um, calming technique. I don't know if he cares to share. Uh, yeah, we just call it the hat trick out west. <clears throat> Basically, what we do is we just uh, put them down and put our hand over them or a hat or a, you can let them go under a board. And we just put them under there and let them chill out and pop it off and snap some photos real quick. These guys might be there, but maybe not. These might be a little bit more than a handful. Yeah, I heard I heard about this. Let's see that. Yep. Ring neck snake. Road cruising. Squishy. It's a really pretty garter. Like, just the colors. Of the so, 
Bracing her. I didn't you offend you. Turtles. Tilford, crossing the road. Yeah, caught him just in time. Oh, I'm gonna put these guys down. And, uh, oh, that 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 filters. It, it's not filtering right. I don't like that. There we go. It's a good fit. Well done, man. I don't know if you guys can see this little dude right. here. Hell yeah. But this is a neonate eastern massasauga rattlesnake. This is why we took this trip. The first day was, um, we got here not even 15 minutes after being here. We found a dead on road. Nice sized adult. It was really heartbreaking. We got literally mere hours left here and we come across this little guy. Now I'm going to get some pictures but I figured I would just share him with you all. Truly stunning, truly stunning snake. Michigan's only true venomous species. Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, thank you guys again for tuning in with me. This, this trip has been almost wonderful on every level, despite some of the hardships we faced. I mean, this place is really beautiful, and we got one last hour before we leave. So, I'm hoping I can road cruise at least one more saga. The locals have been great. Everyone kind of, most people know to watch out for the snakes in the road and they try and avoid them. And it's, it's been an overall really for the most part, besides the dead on road one, um, a really rejuvenating experience. Um, so man, so please make sure you guys tune in, stay tuned in, like, subscribe, share, I don't care. But um, Matt, Josh, thanks. I mean, this trip's been fucking great. <laughs>